collaboration for us is all about putting together two great New York City based companies that have a like minded. It's all about being tough enough for the streets of New York City. Uh, what's up? My name's Sean, and uh, I'm a New York City bike messenger. The, probably the most important parts to me about uh, being a messenger are definitely having a nice comfortable bag, uh, one that's durable, it's going to last, be able to be tossed around, and you know, you're going to be taking it on and off your body and dropping it on the floor and putting the packages in and out, so you want it to be durable and for it to last. Yeah, focusing on safety in New York City is super important um, because the New York City is very dangerous when it comes to being a bike messenger. There's always pedestrians coming in and out of cars, there's cars uh, making illegal turns. Uh, your focus always has to be pinpoint and you have to be very aware of your surroundings to survive in New York City as a bike messenger. So one of the things exciting for us right now is actually just launching this new Gotham helmet that Sean's wearing. So just another great reason to work with a, a company like Manhattan Portage. It's all about New York, all about Gotham. So a couple of cool features on the bag that I like. Uh, we got the 3M reflective ink here uh, with the Manhattan skyline and the AAA logo. It's awesome. And then um, there's a, a loop here to attach your helmet. You know, if you want to take your helmet off, I, I take my helmet off like when I'm eating lunch or something on break. Just throw your helmet on here and keep your bag on your back. And then uh, there's two loops here, uh, like a three you lock in there, uh, in between locking up your bike um, when you're about to go in to pick up a package or a drop off. Uh, if you look inside of that, um, there's another cool spot here where if you can, you just want to throw your helmet in the bag, if you got some other stuff to do, you don't want to wear your helmet, just throw the helmet right here into this little helmet slot. Uh, time spent in the saddle each day could be easily between 8 hours to 10, maybe even more than that. It depends on the season. If it's holiday season, it could go easily 10 hours plus if you want to earn a lot of money. Uh, it's always the busiest time during the holidays. There's tons and tons of work. Uh, I mean, some fun stuff about bike messaging that I like is uh, sometimes you can deliver to a celebrity. Um, one of my favorite clients that we had for our messaging company is William Defoe. High-end clients want their packages really, really fast. They, they hire uh, professional messengers. The hardest thing about being a bike messenger, especially in New York, is the weather. If the weather's bad, it's not a not an easy day. Um, especially in a city like New York, there's tons of little ditches in the street, the potholes, the sewer caps. Um, when it rains heavy duty or it snows heavily, uh, you hit the slightest slippery piece of the street, you're going down. Uh, a lot of bike messengers in their downtime, they like to do, they like to participate in alley cat races, which are unsanctioned races, no rules. Uh, they're hosted by, you know, one or a few people. Um, they pick checkpoints throughout the city that you have to race to. Everybody gets on their bikes, gets a list of those checkpoints, and everybody races to them as fast as they can. You got to get a signature when you're there by someone that's waiting there. Um, and you know, once you complete your list. Uh, when you hit the last one, whoever gets there first wins, and there's obviously no rules, so you know anything goes. However, that you want to get there, you take your own routes, you grab onto a car. A lot of messengers get their frustration of the work week out by racing these kind of races because it's fun. It's super dangerous, but you know that's only professional messengers can ride these kind of races because you know if you're riding a bike for a little while and you think you're going to jump into an alley cat race, there's no way you're going to come out of it.
Oh, 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 oh,